So, new PC, new streaming setup, hopefully everything's working properly, and uh, new map, all the new things going on. Interesting little twist, by the way. Uh, so I guess, the way that the early access worked, none of the trophies that we shot are on early access count, and unlocking the map doesn't count. So we get to effectively start all over, which on one hand, I'm sad about the melanistic links. On the other hand, I'm pretty hyped for a, a new map experience. That is the one thing about early access. Sometimes it kind of makes it feel like, you know, been there, done that by the time the map comes out. But uh, I'm pretty excited. Get you everything for the super chat, by the way. I certainly appreciate it. It is a little lame bottom boy, but I don't know. Like I said, I, I'm looking at it as a generally a positive that we get to go and explore it again. So I will, I will tell you guys, I might still put it in a video. I shot a level nine raccoon dog last thing last night. Um, super hyped. I, I was going to have a video out like first thing in the morning. Like did I get the first time in raccoon dog? I was going to be super excited and it trolled. If I had it made diamond and I would have lost that, that would have hurt. I, I would have struggled with that one, but the mellow links, you know, that's meh. So, so not a big deal, but yeah, I, I might uh, might put a video out, we'll see, as we're forever floating along here. What's up, pineapples? Everything looks so amazing on this map, they really did do a great job. They really did. Maybe a Mela Diamond Links will fresh bond? Hey, it could happen. Oh my god, doing great, Star 12. So, fresh start on Revan Tuli. Um, I've got my loadout set basically to put up some tents, maybe do some waterfowl setups. Uh, briefly, we're not gonna do a ton of waterfowl hunting today because I want to, you know, hunt around and try to get a good chunk of the map unlocked again. But we'll kind of see where that leads us. Did you really just call a Melalynx meh? I'm not saying that the, the kill itself is meh, I'm just saying like, as far as me being levels of upset about it, I guess, I'm not too worried about a Melalynx. I mean, I, it was a gold, it was really cool, I wish that we got to keep it, but, you know, is what it is. Uh, we'll just head straight to the lookout point then. Dylan, thank you for the super chat, rip the rare links, and also first stream we were able to make, but been watching for two years, well I certainly appreciate you. Gotta say, a good first stream to make for the last couple of weeks, or maybe even longer. New PC setup, um, getting the run, this is the first time that I've streamed Call of the Wild in full screen in forever. Uh, cause there's a launch option, I guess, for Call of the Wild for, uh, borderless full screen. So, that's kinda nice. Got some black grouse already. Small, ooh, 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 that's a thick estimate, though. Um, doesn't mean we're gonna hit it. So I grabbed the 22H, which, uh, definitely does not make it any more likely we're gonna hit it. Yeah, just go land over there. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get him like that. Did we get that? Yeah, we did. Alright, let's go and see. That's the best estimate I've seen. What's up, Mel? 60 gig update on Xbox. That's what Bottom Boy told me. That's rough. That is insane. Uh, Dylan, thanks for renewing your membership, by the way. And the devil comes. Thank you for... Why is it saying renewing, but saying new member? That is weird. Maybe it's just strange the way the alerts work. Either way, guys, thanks for uh, becoming channel members. If that's actually what's going on, my alerts are lying to me. Be sure to join the Discord, link up your YouTube, get the member role. Get all that good stuff and enjoy the green name and emojis here in chat. Did you sleep at all, Mel? Okay, so first official kill, I guess, on Reventuli, since early access is effectively gone, is a 116. Black Grouse. I was hoping maybe level 2 diamond, but that wouldn't be right to kill a diamond as the very first kill. Uh, Dylan, thank you for the super chat again, by the way. I reset my level back to level 1, got all the weapon packs, and what loadout should I use for this map or in general? Uh, for this map, I've been running 16 gauge, which you'd have to uh, own the Rancho del Arroyo DLC as well. But that's that's been my kind of, you know, bird shooting gun, rabbits as well. Then 308, normally I do 243, uh, 22, and, you know, that kind of covers everything. Right now, because I'm carrying tents, I've got the 16 gauge, the 308, and the 22H. Bit of a weird one. Is fishing in the game yet? There's not going to be fishing added to Call of the Wild. I can pretty much confirm that now because we know that the angler 
is going to be Expansive World's kind of, uh, I'll just say, attempt at a fishing game. But, yeah, uh, it'll be its own separate game when that happens. Nice, Mel. Just got here. Do we like this map? I really like it. I've had a ton of fun. And I was just saying earlier, um, our early access progress effectively didn't count. Uh, it, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure why it worked that way. Like on Mississippi, we were able to keep our early access progress. On uh, Reventuli, we can't. So basically, we're starting fresh. And I'm kind of excited about the potential of a fresh map. Do we know what the new great one is? I was just kind of reading through the Fabled Ones chat before this stream, and I don't think anyone's found it. Slightly dying, goodness gracious. You need a nap. Got an hour left on the update? Nice. Hopefully that hour goes by quickly. Maybe the stream can help to pass a little time. There's that rabbit. So, the, oh. Maybe I'd rather shoot these things. I don't know what they are. We'll just... Hope to get a couple of them, and we'll find out. Did you happen to keep all your trophies, or were they wiped? They were indeed wiped. I was saying, you know, that obviously that's a little unfortunate, the Melanistic Lynx. Um, th that was a pretty cool kill that we lost. But I guess the way that I'm looking at it is, through a, a very different lens, last night, like, one of the last things I did was shoot a level 9 raccoon dog. I running around, you know, I've been shooting them on stream and stuff, level 9 spawns, and I got like super excited, I, I recorded, you know, I'm, I'm getting ready to shoot this thing, and I'm just thinking in my head like, alright, first thing when the map drops tomorrow morning, releasing this video, it's gonna be awesome, and then it trolled me, <laughs> um, unexpected little twist on that one, had that made diamond and I would have lost that, I would have been actually pretty bummed, but as is, you know, we can, we can find new things. What time do moose drink? And yes, there are a lot of moose on this map. They drink 12 to 1600, I think. It's a bit of a weird time. Can I show my inventory? We can. If I click the right button, I can. Why? Oh, there we go. So, I'll go to this because I think it's easier to read. 16 gauge, 308. Got the binos. Tent, first aids, and 22H. Pretty simplistic since we're carrying the tent. So many unspotted burbs. I know, I feel it. Like, how many times does a level 3 fly by and you don't know it? Uh, Dylan, thanks for the super chat again. Thinking about running the muzzleloader 22H and 16 gauge. Yeah, that should work good. Um, that'll work real good. Probably a better option for the moose and bear. Sad I lost my cool ducks and my caper Kaylee. Yeah, the cool ducks, I, I had my diamond teal that I was really proud of, but other than that, I didn't really get any. So I feel you guys on that because I know that takes a lot of effort. What mic do you use while streaming? I've got a Blue Yeti. Um, honestly, I really like it. I, I've considered like upgrading in the past, but a lot of people compliment the audio quality on the streams and videos, so I don't want to really mess with anything. New great one is Moose, just confirmed by Brandon on Instagram. Has that been posted in the official or anything? Is 4.75 Diamond Caper Kaylee Diamond Max? I've seen 4.8. I went and did the math too, because I was prepared to be disappointed when I saw that it was 4.8, because that's that would be the same as uh, all the turkey species, cinnamon teal, and the weight conversion that I did left at about half a pound shy of max weight. So I'm thinking 4.9, maybe even just five, will be their max. Oh, you shot a 4.9. Okay. <laughs> I like it, bottom boy. Can Diamond Zoo Warning Call? Yes, that was a... Call it a myth, I guess, early on in Call of the Wild's existence? Oh, it's almost dark, I didn't know that. Uh, a lot of people thought that diamonds wouldn't warn a call, but they will. Are you gonna post a goose hunting guide? I probably will. Um, although it's, I think it's a lot easier to set up for. We can do one. What's up, Danger? Your opinion on why Mississippi Acres seem to have flopped for most people? I think... There wasn't enough entirely new stuff. The gators obviously were like the feature for that map. Gator hunting is very repetitive just by its nature because it requires very specific things. Like you have to make a good shot or have a super powerful weapon or 
you know, if you can catch them in those couple areas where it's difficult for them to swim away, like you don't get the variety in gators that you do in other species. And then as far as like brand new stuff, quail are kind of like pheasants, the wild, what is it? Wild, dang it. Fair, what is it? Feral hog on, feral pig on Mississippi, wild hog on Tay. I had the combos wrong like six different times. Anyway, you know, those are, those are basically the same thing. Whitetail, uh, what else is on that map? Raccoons were new, but small game, you know, it, it's hard to get excited for that. Eastern Turkey, very similar. I just think it was the lack of entirely new species, which is actually why I think Revan 2 is going to do quite well. What map do you hope they add in the future? I mean, if it were up to me, I think another Africa map. I think we're about due for one. But, you know, lots of lots of cool areas that we can maybe see with entirely new species. I think Africa is top of my list, though. Feral Wild, there you go. A little sad, first thing I saw on the map was a level 9 lynx that I messed up because I hit stomach on it. That is a little unfortunate. Weapon wheels overpowered? I, uh, I think a lot of console players are going to quite like it. It's a fairly good estimate. 22H does the job there. Do you know the new drink time for Fallow? I don't. Haven't messed with Te Aoroa. What level does the Bean Goose need to make diamonds? Same as uh, Canada Geese. Grey Lags, Bean Geese, Canada's all max at level 5. Where do you get the red dot sight for shotguns? It's called the Red Raptor Reflex, I think. In the store, should just be under the normal sights category. 4.2, I have yet to see a variant on the Caper Kaylee. The males anyway, females have a bunch. 10 to 1300 for, for Fallow? That wouldn't be too much different. I just woke up and I'm eating breakfast and saw your stream and did a double take. Lots of streams these days. Um, this will probably be the only content for the day, in fact. I guess we'll just sort of see what happens, but I think due to new PC and editing struggles and all that yeah, of getting things set up, probably stream today, video tomorrow, uh, Thursday should be the montage, and then, yeah, we should be kind of back to normal. I'm not going to look at her. She just wants attention. I think she's tired. Um, for like, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, maybe an hour ago, I was like running around, chasing her, trying to get her tired. Your radio voice, I love it. Why, thank you. Do you think we should get elephants in the game? I'm... I think it would be very cool, don't get me wrong. I think it would be difficult because of the... Like, the size of the animals, trophy lodges and all that stuff would become a new problem, I guess, for the devs. Kind of want an Australian map? That could be cool, too. Have you been having the organs you hit go too far and even in front of the animal? Not yet. I never had that early access. Uh, and I've shot a fair few things with the shotgun. So, I've seen those pictures. I know what you're talking about. Um, I couldn't tell you why it's happening. Haven't experienced it myself yet. Just ain't five croissants? That's... That's a good way to start a day. A whiny dog. I don't even know what she... I, again, if I look at her... I love the fire lighting, by the way. If I look at her, she'll probably start whining again, so I, all I know is she went under the desk somewhere. Oh, is she? Probably, probably best I don't look at her. Okay, let's make it morning. This whole time I thought it was 5 a.m. and I couldn't believe it wasn't getting light out. What's up, winners? What's the new great one? Um, somebody said it was confirmed on Instagram, but then I didn't see any more posts about it, so I, I don't know. Bless you. I can't believe that looked violent, and it was absolutely silent to me. Violent, but silent. <laughs> oh, my. It's cool, bottom boy. I think they've got a couple of those little... Um, camp type outpost I'll be here till I fall asleep sounds good best loadout to use for this map 
I've had a lot of success running 16 gauge 308 243 22. Right now, because I'm carrying tents, I've got 16 gauge 308 and 22H. Effectively it covers the same species, just kind of, you know, the the shooting for the waterfowl or bird species with the 22H will be a little lackluster. Dylan, thank you for the super chat again. New great one, raccoon dog. I wonder how they would do something like that. Even if it's, you know, down the road this time or not. Diamond, like, or, sorry, great one, uh, raccoon dog or like red fox, coyote, any of those kind of things. I wonder how they would implement it. Gotta be unique first. Any new bugs confirmed with the update? I mean, how many new bugs? The only one that I've seen that's a little bit odd is if you shoot something, and it doesn't seem like it's every time, but if you shoot something with like, you know, say a shotgun and have a bunch of organs hit, instead of doing the proper scroll in the harvest screen, it like is a huge long line of text that extends out past the animal. Don't know what that's about, but I think that's the only one I've I've caught wind of. Congrats on the Miller Links, thank you, man. Big Chungus Raccoon Dog, what's that? Exactly yeah, Mellow Lynx is gone forever now. I guess I'll probably have to keep talking about that throughout. Um, we didn't get to keep our progress from the early access, so we are literally rediscovering the map right now. Finn, thank you for the super chat. What's the best way to hunt waterfowl? I made a waterfowl guide this morning, actually. If you want to check that out, I think it could be of use. There's a thick grouse track. there be a new Africa map, would you like to see elephants and giraffe? Again, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I think it would be very cool. I think it would definitely offer a big challenge for the devs in like how they implement species of that size, but you know, the amount of things they've pulled out before, I can imagine they could do it. Dylan, thank you for the super chat again. Fox, they do like a silver cross fox like in classic. Raccoon dog do an abnormally large one. I do think you know, down the road if they do Predator great ones. They're gonna have to be like a physically larger model. Like if you were to see a great one standing beside a diamond, the great one should be notably bigger. But uh you know, we don't have true size yet, so we'll see. Kinda decent-ish, there's no way I'm hitting that. I will try, but Oh. Okay. Maybe I can hit it. I think there's a tree there. That'll work. Hopefully so, winners. And I'm not, I'm not too bummed about it. I probably would have been more bummed if, uh, you know, if it was a newer species. I guess that's what it is. You know, Lynx being an older species doesn't bug me as much. I think they should be scarred up from fighting. Yeah, that as long as it's a predator species that would be like a fighting species. Some predators don't do as much of that, like, you know, competition type fighting. The 22H has pop to it? Yeah, it's, um... Sometimes when I forget, because, you know, it is a 22 caliber at the end of the day, I expect to get that little 22 plink, and then it's a proper rifle sound. If you got to pick the next great one, what would you want it to be? Uh, Mule Deer. I think Mule Deer would be my choice for that. I think I'm gonna go 308, 12 gauge, 22 LR, then either 243 or 22 H. The 12 gauge I think is a good choice. Um, I just, I have better, and this is a me thing, I have better target acquisition with the 16 gauge, like I find myself getting on target better. So I'll probably stick with that. Alerts are certainly delayed today. Uh, JM Kirk, thanks for becoming a channel member. It keeps confusing me when it says renewing your membership for one month and my alerts, hopefully they fix that, but anyway. Appreciate you, man. Welcome. If you're not in the Discord already, be sure to join that. Link up your YouTube, get the member roll, get all that good stuff. Enjoy the green name and emojis in chat as well. And Beth, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate the support. What country is this map on? This is based in Finland. Do we know the do we know what the great one is that is released today? We do not. Gold brown bear rare? Uh, I will say I didn't see any on early access. I don't recall seeing anybody posting one, but 
they've always been an uncommon in the past, so that might be something to like save and wait and see uh, what the kind of community consensus is. That's always the fun part about new species or updates that maybe change that stuff. You don't actually know what might be rare and things that used to not be rare could suddenly be. That was certainly not a hard shot, but it should do. A new great one added? Yes, we're... We know that much. We know there's a new great one. Kind of waiting for somebody to discover it and figure out what it is. When's the release of Reventuli? It's out right now. I'd like to see a Georgia map. Uh, Georgia... US? I assume? I'm not sure they'd have a whole lot of new species to offer, which makes it tough. Uh, Finn, thanks for the super chat again, by the way. Opinions on a fallow great one. You know, that is one thing. As big and impressive as the diamond fallow deer are in game right now, they, you know, based on the biggest of real life ones, they probably could kind of push it to, to make them even bigger and make a great one type of thing. I'd like to see unique furs on them too. Fallow deer are known for having a bunch of variety in real life. Some of the, that variety isn't, uh, you know, part of the game with the rares as is, so I think it could be cool. What's up, Skibbles? Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate you. I think we could get a rustic lodge the size of Africa ever, and I'd love a Great One Elk personally. Great One Elk could be pretty cool. I think that's one that we're bound to see eventually. Are you asking, like, a rustic lodge the size of Saseka Safari? Because I, I certainly hope so. I really... We had this conversation yesterday on stream, I think. Um, it's feeling like we're about due for a new map. So, or a new lodge, sorry. Obviously, a new map just happened. Uh, a rustic lodge, similar to the classics rustic lodge, but way, way bigger. I'd be all about that. Uh, Dylan, thank you for the super chat again. Come on, new great one is the rabbits. What if it was all rabbit species getting a great one at the same time? That would be wild. Glad I'm finally out of your PC. Uh, the new PC seems to be working good. I, um, I really did spend basically the entire evening after the stream last night getting it all set up, getting all the software downloaded. I'm actually really hyped about the editing software. Um, it's still a, uh, Vegas software, so I've been using Sony Vegas for forever. Um, and the thing I got is, I think it's called, like, Vegas 365 or something like that. So I believe, if I'm not wrong, it should be the type of thing where, you know, instead of buying Vegas 19, which is the current version, it's like a monthly subscription. And I think, like, when new Vegas software comes out, I should have access to that. I could be wrong, but either way, you know, a four-year or so upgrade in the editing software, that's pretty hype. Lots of new stuff that I can play with that I'm going to have to, you know, mess around and try to spice up some videos. Are all duck decoys free? Weirdly enough, um, oh gosh, which one was it? I think the duck decoys are free and the goose decoys you gotta buy. Or maybe it was the other way around. I forget. I think the goose decoys were the free ones though. Winners, thanks for renewing your membership to 60 months, by the way. Here's at the start of a new year. Wait, does yours show a different amount of months than mine or are we just, <laughs> are we just heading towards 28? Either way, I appreciate you, man. Curious if it's doing that. Geese were free. I like how I can't keep that straight. I was literally going to ask you, but I felt bad because I know you're tired. Okay, it said 13 months when I sent it. It's weird, because I, I, I remember somebody else had that same thing, so I wondered if it was just showing on. I hear a puppy whining in the background. I don't think she's used to early streams. It might be a little bit of that. She's, uh, she's chilling. I think she's tired and is fighting it. That's normally when she whines the most. Chilling with their mama. Okay, uh, yeah, let's keep going up here. Maybe we'll do a bean goose setup. We shot our diamond bean goose in early access up in this area. Did you build one or buy a PC? I bought a pre-built on Amazon, which I know might sound insane. Uh, but basically, I got Kyla one of these for her birthday. Um, and I was really impressed with it. I was surprised by how good it was. And then, my PC started dying. And it 
began to occur to me, I, like, I knew, you know, new maps coming, early access is coming, I probably better get a new PC, or my content's just gonna take a hit, because the, it was super laggy and jumpy in videos and streams, so, I knew they had quality PCs, by the way, um, there's a command with a link to my PC, I forget what it was, a new PC or something, but anyway, uh, yeah, affordable, fairly quick getting here, kind of had to happen, so here we are. Uh, Bryce, thank you for the super chat, I wish there was another map with Roosevelt Elk. That is something that I think we need to see eventually, and another map with Rockies too, you know. Uh, both are very cool species that, of the really cool species, are probably the only ones that are left with like, you know, exclusive, exclusive to a certain map. We had Finn coming in with a super chat as well. Like the fallow I've come across having grown up, they can surely make a few more fur types. Personally, I'd like gray with white dots. Oh, that could be cool. I I definitely don't know like all the different varieties they could have, but I know much more variety could be added, and that's that's what I'm looking forward to, you know, maybe seeing one day, whether it's with a great one or some kind of update. They did that once. Really early in Call of the Wild's life, I guess. Um, they did a... It was like... They called it a DLC, but it was free, so I don't know why they did that. But it was uh, like a fur pack or something like that. They added some furs to Black Bear. I think they might have added some different variations to like the characters you could choose. There was a bunch of stuff. Uh, Graham, thanks for the super chat. Opinion on the new map? I might buy it. I honestly really enjoy it. The biggest thing for me is that there's almost nowhere you can go where there's not something happening. I mean, you just saw the, the ptarmigan and the hazel grouse fly by. There were deer running around. If it's not that, it could be raccoon dogs or more birds, clearly. Just nonstop. You know, you've got something, something to do, something to shoot at. And I think it's going to be a good grinding map. I think whitetail are going to be... There's the chance this could outdo Rancho in terms of whitetail grinding. I think it probably could be good for moose. I think you could probably work out a way to grind for basically anything you want on this map. There's a gold, by the way. It sometimes works most of the time. Accurate, though. I actually don't have a 144 hertz monitor, but weirdly enough, for content purposes, that's kind of better. So Kyla does have a 144 hertz monitor, uh, and I will say, game looks beautiful on that monitor. But the weird thing for content is that if it ends up running above 60 FPS, so like I, I uh, run with VSync to cap it at 60. The way that at least my settings have always worked with recording, if I'm running above 60, I actually get a more stuttery picture. So. Weirdly enough, my 60 hertz monitor for smoother streams and videos, I think, is better. I might be doing it wrong. I don't think anyone's found the new great one. Having a good morning so far, and have I missed anything? Nothing special trophy-wise, we're just kind of getting going. Um, I'll say it again for anybody that maybe wasn't in here for the first half hour. Our early access progress did not count, so... Uh, we, and I believe that's the case for all creators, not just me. Um, so we get to rediscover the new map, and, you know, it's a, a fresh opportunity to get out of here. So, you know, you could look at it either way. You could look at it as a bummer that we lost stuff, or look at it as a brand new opportunity, and I'm basically choosing the latter. I do, by the way, want a new diamond moose, or another diamond moose. So... Max weight tracks are interesting, but we'll kind of try to stay on on track here. How long are we streaming for? Um, I think we're going to go a normal two hours. I believe EW streams after this, so I don't want to, you know, run my stream right up to theirs or anything. Why is mine still updating? If you're on console, I know the update is gigantic, and that might actually be an understatement. Confirmed Moose Great One. I still have yet to... If somebody has a link or something to post in, like, the Discord... 
because he can't post links in chat or the Nightbot will be like, no you. But I want to see whatever people are talking about. Uh, what do the spirits look like? Similar to the old spirit brown bear, but better. I don't know how to describe it really. I haven't seen it either, Mel. I'm, I've got the fabled chat open just to just to watch. Goodness, I love full screen borderless. I can't believe I've been living my life without it. Already have two diamonds on Revan Tooley. Nice. Is Call of the Wild better than Classic? It depends on who you ask. Um, and it depends on the type of experience I guess you're looking for out of a hunting game. If you're wanting to see, you know, more animals and you want to see more action, more variety in the maps and stuff, Call of the Wild and Classic now have the same number of maps. Classic has, I think, 50-ish species. Call of the Wild is at probably over 70. Counting all the ducks. So there, there's more variety there, naturally, but classics generally like a more true to life hunting experience. I've seen a lot of people say it is great one moose, but I have yet to see any pictures. I'm just sitting here and call the wild fabled ones chat. I will not be trolled, so I am gonna be not pessimistic. What's that called? Not pessimistic. Like, when you question things, somebody will know the word. I feel like SRP is going to fall off now. Maybe a little bit. I don't think that much. Go get your bear. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna unlock this lookout real quick. Do we know the great one? Skeptical, that's the word. Um, a lot of people are saying that it's moose in chat, but uh, now that somebody has told me the word I was looking for, I'm skeptical because nobody has posted a single thing in the Discord to confirm that. Why SRP not getting a reset? Speaking of being skeptical, EW has said that they just couldn't fit it into this new update. And maybe that's true. I don't mean to say that EW is lying or anything like that. What I am saying is that EW will say things from time to time to throw us off the trail or whatever, and I'm not willing to just take them at their word that it's that. Maybe new great one, new something on SRP. Somebody's saying still think it's Brown Bear in the Fabled One chat. That's interesting. Brown Bear is the only logical answer? I mean, they redid the models, but then again, they redid the Black Bear models of Mississippi. And the great one came out. Actually, the great one right here is before Mississippi, so never mind. That wouldn't line up. Great one Mallard? There you go. Does anyone know how to use the W? Oh, you retracted that, okay. Keep it up, man, I'll definitely do my best. Need another map with a blacktail. Yeah, speaking of base game animals that could use more maps, blacktail could be on that list. I'm going the wrong way here. Oh, <laughs> I like how I'm being said hi to in, uh, in Fable One's chat because I announced that I'm watching it. Uh, they probably will reveal the new Great One in the W stream. I doubt it. I wouldn't be upset if they did, but I think they want to let the mystery linger as long as possible. Are there new multi mobs? There are four. There is. Well, I don't want to spoil it, so I guess close your ears if you guys don't want to have the multi mobs spoiled. There is a Caper Kaylee multi mount similar to the turkeys, uh, a male and two. I don't know if it's a rooster and hens or what Caper Kaylee is, but a male and two females uh, in that one. There's a black bear multi mount, two males, kind of like the bear hug for grizzly bear. I've been asking for that for forever, so I'm pretty hyped about that one. Really might have to do a grind for a rare black bear uh, because of that. Oh, goodness. There's a two black grouse males fighting, and then I think it's a raccoon dog and a black grouse again. I'm not mistaken, it's black grouse twice. Is Brown Bear because of the missions the guy said there was a huge bear? That'd be interesting if they did it through the mission because Brown Bear on Medved as well. I mean, if that's a hint or something, I, I see where you're going. Somebody did say in there about a, a mission hint. I see Jaxie's watching the Fabled Ones chat. Uh, should I buy a trophy lodge? I would highly recommend it. 
Oh, it's Raccoon Dog and Willow Ptarmigan. Is it male or female Willow Ptarmigan? I think that's kind of important. Speaking of Black Grouse. Pierre said I can't wait to see who finds it, but I guess that doesn't mean that anybody that has guessed is wrong. Uh, Tater B, thank you for the super chat. Finally caught a stream. Thank you for being such an amazing content creator. Without your tips, I wouldn't be playing the game anymore, and I sure wouldn't have the red deer I have. Well, I'm glad the tips and stuff have been useful. Always cool to see the, uh, you know, tips and videos and streams and all that actually, uh, you know, helping people in the game. Well, all right. Oh my god. Hello. Caper Kaylee everywhere. There is at least one other black grouse. All the stuff is right here. There's Caper Kaylee. Another one. Where's that other black grouse? There were three. I only got the spot two. There's too many birds. I'm never going to be able to keep track. Uh, which lodge should I buy? If you want, you know, pure size and maximum amount of trophies that you could put in the lodge, um, Saseka Safari is going to be kind of, you know, best value there. Do you think someone will find the great one today? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I feel like we had a better idea from the red deer. And that took like three days, so who knows. Did I miss anything? Just joined. Nothing, nothing yet. Somebody asked how much lower bird shot is. I don't know how much lower, and that's kind of the problem, but I feel like it's... If I had to... Hello. If I had to put a number on it, I'd say it's like 10% slower. It's not a lot, but it's just enough that you kind of notice it. That was not... Oh, no, it was the next shot. Okay, good. Which lodge should I buy and what shotgun are you using? I'd go to Second Safari and I am using the 16 gauge from Rancho del Arroyo. What is that? What are you? I'll never know if I don't hit you. Well, that's it. I think it's a Caper Kaylee. Oh, okay. Well, maybe Sir 12 can find things. I love how open these woods are. You can see so far underneath the heavy canopy. Yeah, the. The more open, like, I guess bigger timbers is sort of what you call it. I really, really like it. I guess that was probably our third one. I think Sir 12 found stuff. Good deal. What is your favorite map? I think Layton Lakes uh, remains my favorite. I will say, definitely Reventuli Coast has been rising the, the rankings there. Are you excited for Way of the Hunter? Honestly, so two things. Number one, just generally I am. Number two, they're releasing in August, which is kind of a perfect time frame. Normally, you know, by August, some of the hype from the new map in Call of the Wild kind of starts to fade. You kind of get into that time frame of waiting on the next update or whatever for Call of the Wild. So we can just, you know, play a little bit of another game to pass some time. What is the funniest animal, or funnest animal to hunt, and best gun to hunt with? Best gun can be subjective. I'd say the 7 mil, because it's a base game weapon, might overall be the best. Funnest animal to hunt, I mean, that's that's really down to personal preference at that point. Um, you could say that wolves, because they attack the most fun. Birds, because you, you find so many of them. Just depends on what you enjoy. Walt loadout, 16 gauge, 308, and 22H. We're probably, when we get over into this area, about to set up for geese. That's why I have such a weird loadout. Um, I'm carrying tents to allow myself to get other equipment. And I think finally that's gonna be necessary 40 minutes in, or 45 or so by the time we get there. Is there any information on the next great one? Nothing yet. Nothing official yet, I should say. Some people are surmising there could be a brown bear based on mission hints or a moose. A bunch of people have said it's moose and then there's been like no evidence posted so I, I don't know if that's just like, you know, conjecture. Oh goodness roll, that's no good. You get anything good? Nothing crazy yet. Do the Caper Kaylee go aggressive? I've not seen it. I wish they would. Maybe they do and I haven't encountered it. 
But, uh, that was one thing that I was told, like, you know, in, in stream chats, when the map was first announced, that that was a thing. Haven't seen any aggressive caper Kaylee as of yet. When does the Great One normally drop or get redone? Uh, if you're asking like when we get new Great Ones or whatever, there's really no precedent for that. Like we got Whitetail, what the heck is that? Oh, I forgot I shot that. All right. Anyway, we got Whitetail in uh, April of 2020. Didn't get another Great One until Red Deer in like November of 2021. So that was a year and a half. And then apparently about six months later we have a new one and as soon as we can figure out what it is we'll probably be down to grinding that down to 144p that's no good oh hello uh. are you gonna post your IRL hunting videos on this channel anymore yes um I've been talking about that, I've been trying to get the information out there, because I know you guys have been waiting for forever. Um, next week, I guess it's going to be the week after, technically. So next week, next Friday, not like three days from now Friday, but the Friday after, my first video from the 2021 season is going to drop on the Meat Hunters channel, and then the following Tuesday, it'll come out on this channel. Jaxi did confirm it's on more than one map just now, by the way, in the uh, Fabled Ones chat, so that would kind of eliminate the SRP theory entirely. Because if it's on more than one map, then there's no reason to only not reset SRP. Can we get hip fire air shots? Do you mean like you want me to attempt that more? The other outposts are really cool looking. I'm glad they even have variety in the outposts. It's pretty cool. It's Moose. I'm waiting on a picture. Game looks great on PC. What GPU? I've got a 3060. I literally just got it last night, so it's a... What the heck? It's a fresh 3060. Uh, you know. Operating at full capacity, I would say. Where did that little sucker go? Did it, or was that it? Did it die in the air and we claimed it? Because there's no tracks. I think that might have just happened. Weird. I did hit it the first time, but then it wasn't dying, so I shot it again. I don't know, bottom boy. I was very confused. I, I literally think it died just over us. So when I tried to spot it, it just let me claim it. Couple people just woke up. Well, good morning. Uh, you haven't missed much. It's a mountain hare that gets a hundred times the size, somebody says in Vapor One's chat, I like it. Caught your bird out of the air? That's how you make sure that you get a good mount. You know, no feathers get busted or anything when they crash to the ground. Did everyone's map get released today, or reset today? Uh, all the maps except for Silver Ridge Peaks, or unless you mean all the content creators, uh, because like I have to start over, then yes. Should I get duck and cover for Revan to the Coast? I don't know. Um, I really don't know what Revan to the Coast comes with. The reason I say that, like, because I have or had um, duck and cover before I got Revan to the Coast, I don't know if, like, the Beacon Deluxe duck color and waterfowl blinds from that come with the Revan to the update. I would say, you know, go to Revan to the first, see what equipment comes with it. If you don't get the equipment that you want for, you know, other waterfowl hunting, then I would probably go and, uh, you know, purchase the the duck and cover. Where's Fable One Shit? Is in the official The Hunter Discord. What's up, Active? Stream's been interesting. Lots of conjecture about new great ones. Running around, rediscovering the map. Uh, the early access stuff that we did effectively doesn't count, so we are starting fresh like everybody else today. Best whitetail drinking spots in the new map. There are a ton of whitetail here, actually. This is also a good um, goose spot. So I think it's going to be a little bit wild, but I think you could goose hunt and whitetail grind from the same place. 
What's up, McLovin? How do I turn off steam sounds? There is a way. Uh, maybe. There. Nope, that's not it. Well. Might just be a thing for now. Just found one of the boat travel things. They're pretty cool, I like them. I like that they actually mark them as well. I wonder if Mississippi's boats got marked. Cool to see a bear up in this area. So, I was just gonna say, if we could spot some geese and get confirmation that they can indeed spawn here. These will be bean geese. Make sure there's no fives like we had last time. That was the absolute panic. All looks to be normal. Bunch over there. Let's find ourselves a good flat area. Now we could, we could hunt them from the water. I think ideally, maybe this is a good spot. I think I want them on land primarily. That there was Scarecrow in here. I saw somebody said hi, Scarecrow. I don't know if I missed him. Okay, uh, tent. First step to an excellent goose setup. Then we're gonna want to take tents out. If I could scroll, that'd be pretty neat. And again, these are the bean geese, gray lag geese. I've not seen any up here, so we're not gonna worry about them. I'll set up all 30 decoys, why the heck not? And I guess I don't have room for a blind, so we'll do that first. We'll do six, seven, and eight. All right, so I'm gonna put the blind right on this little road thing. Therefore, I wanna make sure I don't get any decoys too close. And we'll just make a nice big spread. And hopefully that'll treat us well. Oh, what's up, Scarecrow? Oh, you're Flint, right, yeah, sorry. Flint, Flint, Crow, or some. Did you, did you see the, the thing? That, um, it seems early access progress doesn't count. It's a little, little bit of a bummer for, for cool trophies that were shoosted, but, you know, is what it is. I assume you've seen the thing, but I don't know how long you've been up. Alright, that's 30 decoys. Blind, if we put it, say, I don't know, here-ish, should be good. Or maybe, yeah, more in the middle. We're going to do a normal layout. The water uh, water blind's not going to really help us out here much. Like I said, we could do it that way, but I don't feel the need to, to set it up for in the water. Big oof, yeah, I, I'm a little sad about the mellow links, but, you know, I, I'm pretty hyped about a, a fresh spawn. I will say, and I got very lucky on the early access, there, there were a bunch of cool uh, diamonds and rares we got, but most of it was old species, so I don't have much room to complain. I know some people definitely got uh, cooler stuff than I did. Get our tents back. So we're not going to sit here and goose hunt right now. Um, I could try to get one of these with a 22 age. Odds are I won't hit it. Are they just going to land, though? I mean, they probably will. Nope, oh, not this mantle. There we go. Uh, how do you get so many rares and diamonds? I mean, primarily it comes down to time spent. Um, you know, this game and making content on this game is my job, so I tend to put in quite a few hours. But, you know, um, being efficient with those hours is important. So, hunting drink times, hunting drink zones, understanding, mostly through experience where animals are going to be during those times. So like, you know, let's say it is uh, whitetail drink time. If I'm hunting lakes where whitetails don't drink, well then obviously I'm wasting my time. So as you hunt and as you play the game and learn, you see where whitetail do drink and then you, you spend time in those areas. Maybe I need the collar. They are not interested in landing even a little bit. It could be that I spooked them when I was running around. All right, we'll just hope for the best. Can of the geese? Cool. Let's see if we can find a male. There's a male. Well, now I'm stuck goose hunting. I, I said I wasn't gonna do this. Any good ones? 
Not particularly. We'll just sit here and wait a minute then. Anything good? Nothing special. I'm waiting to see if these geese are going to come down and land at our decoys. I don't have the collar equipped because I wasn't planning on hunting, but it seems when you set up decoys, birds spawn pretty quickly, so I've been uh, waiting for one of these just to try to shoot it. Oh, that's cool, Eli. Cool that it's like uh, already discernible as an eight. We have one that's more like that and then one that's, it seems to be a little slow in, you know, growing points off of its main beams. It's just getting discernible G3s. Whereas there's another that had G3s like a week and a half ago. All right, I think either our spot's a little bit weird and they don't know where to land or we need the collar. So I'm gonna try. I'm definitely not gonna hit them, but you know, what do they say? If at first you don't succeed, shoot it till it dies. I think that's it. Found a match weight piebald track. Nice. White Taylor, what you got? Anything good? Nothing particularly special so far. How do you get so much money for tents and stands? I mean, it comes down to, to playing the game ultimately. Just the more you play, the more stuff you shoot. I will say, uh, goose hunting, I'm curious to see like if it's as lucrative as it used to be. Because even Canada geese in theory should be flying like a little bit faster and stuff now. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to mostly speak on the way that it used to be until we learn more. Goose hunting could make a ton of money really quickly. Map theme, if it flies, it dies for sure. Winners, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you. If I'm ever able to hit burns as good as you. I don't know. Is brown the common? I don't remember. It's... There's two factors. The first one is spamming shots. The second one, I guess, is is doing it a lot, but I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Got two running together. One's already three up on each side and brow tines. Other looks bigger and wider, but just brows and a big nub. Yeah, I don't know. Don't the... Am I wrong in thinking that bigger bucks, even though they do kind of grow more quickly, don't they also kind of continue adding antler for longer like into August stuff like that I, I feel like that's a bit of a thing because the one that I've been looking at I named him dagger because he has this his brow ton on his left side is taller than his g2 right now it's just huge so I just feel like he's gonna do some damage to some foreheads uh, this this fall when he's fighting but um, he's kind of like that he uh, he's got the brow tines and G2s are looking alright, and he's just splitting the G3s, whereas the other one, you know, he's got main beams wrapping around to his, the front of his head, but you can tell he's only like two and a half or three and a half at best. Uh, have you noticed a big difference in the upgrade from the 1080 Ti to the 3060? So, weirdly enough, if anything, they're, they're about on par from what I saw. Now, it could be updates to Call of the Wild since the the 1080 ti was like brand new but i used to run call the wild on ultra preset with the 1080 ti with no real problems i'm running on high preset to be able to get 60 fps consistently like i said it could be all the updates to the textures and the reflections and all that but you know i'll upgrade graphics cards eventually if that's a thing kyle is too fast indeed It doesn't rain much for me on the new app. I don't know if I've encountered rain at all. Has anybody got the new great one? Uh, nothing yet. I am watching the favorite ones chat as we stream just in case. What's up, Tantan? -tan? Thank you for becoming a channel member. I certainly appreciate you. Welcome. If you're not in the Discord already, I'm sure you know the drill. Join up, link up your YouTube, get the member roll, get all that good stuff. Enjoy the green name and emojis in chat. The Fable chat's going crazy. I know it's absolutely on fire in there right now. Just got rain on my map. Hopefully it's not consistent at least. What is the great one? No one knows. I also have a 3060 and I have never had an issue with bad FPS, but it's pretty nice looking. I have some cool screenshots. You know, the other side of it might be like the recording and streaming aspect. Because I never really check my FPS unless I'm doing that. Because Kyla's 
that was the reason I just decided to spring and go ahead and get the same PC. She was running 90 FPS on Ultra on Yukon or something. She wasn't even here, so like, she was in Georgia. Uh, I realized, you know, a new map was coming, I gotta get a new PC. So I fired hers up to test it and kind of see how it did. And yeah, she had been on Yukon last, so I just went ahead and, you know, gave it a try. And, uh, it seemed to be good. So I'm, I'm curious if it is the, you know, OBS running and all that that adds a bit to it. I was wondering when they were going to flush again. Uh, well, still going the other way. Tough shots to make with a 22, uh, or 22H even. Couldn't quite get it. What was going on with your old PC? Uh, the GPU was dying. That was really the only issue. Which I know it might sound insane to get a whole new PC when a GPU is dying. But it was an Alienware PC. And if you know anything about them, a lot of their stuff is proprietary. So that's annoying uh, to deal with. And then also the case. They make their PCs generally with their cases very small. Uh, which is good for you know a small room or a small desk or anything like that. It's not so good for upgrading components and it's also not good for you know keeping the PC cool so I just went ahead and got a new one uh, you know this one big case I'll be able to upgrade should be all good going forward but you know that, that one treated me well for 40 years so I'm not gonna complain do you think a cheater will find the great one uh I don't know I know nothing about how it works like if if you have no idea what it is are you more likely to find it legitimately and uh, I don't know I've just found my first double three ring neck pheasant nice big PC yeah, it's a nice big thick case tons of room in there you know future upgrades for sure and it's got the glass panel so I can look at all the pretty LEDs or RGBs whatever you want to call them I got a feeling the brown bear is a great one I've seen some people talking about like a mission hint or something so that's pretty cool would have been funny if that was a level 10 <laughs> brown bear there. Somehow you saying it got me thinking. Uh, how did you get borderless windowed working? So what you do is you right click um, in your library and you, I think you go to properties and type, is it slash or backslash? Whatever the question mark slash is, borderless is a launch Oh, what do they call it? Not launch option, like a launch. Hold on. Psycho told me. A launch. Oh, it is launch, launch option. Okay. So yeah, uh, you got to do it through the little launch thing, but it's really, it's worth it. Are you still streaming tomorrow on Classic? Yes. All the streams. Hello, Hazel Grouse. I saw a couple people getting diamond hazels, that was pretty neat. Oh, I got it. How'd that miss? That's embarrassing. Launch argument? Eh, yeah, something like that. Did they change the red deer time on Teawaroa? I think it's the same as Quattro now, like 6.30 to 10? Look at all these birds. Wait, where's that hazel grouse? There's all kind. I don't know what's what. That's a female black grouse. Keeper Kaylee's going. You get into some of these areas, it is insane. I still hear it. It's that high pitched one. Where do you be? Decent black grouse? I don't know. Do you think Spring Creek is a better lodge for this map? I feel like it has more small mounts. Probably if you're just worried about like one lodge for one map, you're you're probably best with that one. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any multi mounts for species on this map that are the double XL platform, and I can't immediately think of any. So if I'm not mistaken, it probably would be the best. The duck speed, it's nuts, isn't it? Really feels more challenging and realistic. 
I like the wub 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 noise the black owls make when they fly by. The Caper Kaylee make kind of the same noise, right? Or the black owls am I thinking of? Because I know they do their like... Dove or owl like kind of... Cooing, hooting, whatever you want to call that. But uh... I can't think of... I'm gonna have to encounter another one. I can't think of what they do when they fly by. Black old wild boar still rare? They should be. Just got my first female tufted. Nice. I want a diamond tufted duck. They are very cool. Someone show us this great one moose in Discord, please. I know everybody's saying about it and nothing gets posted. It's just like, is this, is this a joke? I think the great one is a bird. Well, no one's posted it yet, so could well be. I uh, love your fits. I've been watching for months. Well, I appreciate it. I can't believe I just ran all the way back here for a tower stand. Or a blind, even. I thought it was something. Guess we'll go this way. What's the best shotgun for the ducks? The 12 gauge, because it can have the red raptor sight, I think is going to be good for a lot of people. I'm not a big user of red dot sight, so I'll probably stick with the 16 gauge myself. But the one big advantage of a red dot sight is it prevents the gun from being in your way at certain angles. So if you like a red dot sight, I'd go 12 gauge. If you're more of like a, you know, open sights, iron sights kind of guy, I think the 16 gauge is going to be better. There you go, bottom boy. That could work. Great one's a random peacock flying by. Another bird species. Uh, are spirit bears rare? I don't think so. I shot two in early access. I think I found a third last night while I was running around. Um, last thing. And I've seen a, a, quite a few in the, you know, throughout the community creators. Some... Some creators did say they were rare, but I don't know where that idea came from. Hey, no worries, winners. I appreciate you stopping in. How do you get the 16 gauge? That comes from the Rancho del Arroyo uh, map DLC. I guess that was Sir 12 running in the brush. I have terrible mis luck. Never gotten the diamond or even seen a level 5. Well. Hopefully it turns around with this map. There are a ton of moose on this map. It's it's absurd. If I was Kyla, I'd lose my mind. So, I originally wasn't planning on streaming today. It was only when, like, I woke up early-ish to post my waterfowl guide. And then, like, I looked and there was a little bit of a conversation stirring about um, early access saves not saving or not counting so then i looked into all that and then i was awake and that made me realize that i'm gonna have to rediscover the map and i figured i would just sort of stream that and hang out with you guys and see what's up but anyway what you know a bunch of youtube streams lately kyla's been modding them all and i'm always just like i want to just tell her don't worry about it, just just let it go. But I know she can't just sit there and watch a chat that needs moderated and not do it. So I don't even tell her to just leave it alone. She's a champ. How long did it take you to get your great one red deer? Ooh, there's a max weight rabito. Um, in terms of kills, it was like 5,600. In terms of actual time passed, about four months. Oh, not again. If you guys caught yesterday's stream, buckle up. <laughs> this is an old zone track, so who knows where this rabbit actually is. There's not a lot of things in the game that's like a... I guess new species that I am more likely to, to track a max weight animal. But rabbits are so tough, like... They're very difficult to find in the same place over and over again. So you never want to leave their tracks if you can help it when there's a max weight one. And I just don't want to abandon this, but we tracked one for like 40 minutes yesterday and ended up being a barely not diamond. That track... What about this? 
very fresh. I mean, that's good news. It's probably near here. Just a question of where. Are you getting this the skill to serve veg? I do have it, yeah. Very fresh. Problem is I don't see an arrow. So I guess we need one more track to figure out what direction it's moving in here. In theory, it should be going the other way because we just came from there. But that doesn't mean it hadn't already hopped through here before we came through. I see no tracks. Maybe we should go this way. When is EW stream? I think in an hour and a half. I'm going to be wrapping up here in a little less than an hour. Uh, again, I don't want to like, you know, run my stream right up to EWs or anything, so we'll get wrapped up um, yeah, in, in about an hour and hopefully EW stream will begin. I'm curious if we're going to get any, any new information there. Can we get a new skill and perk guide? It's, it's probably about time we do something like that. Uh, so maybe I'll, I'll see if I can put one together. It's tough, like... I guess I can explain what each individual skill and perk does and why I use it. But in theory, the proper way to do a skill and perk guide, I think, is to explain how all the skills and perks work. So that if you don't want to run the same things I do, at least you kind of understand what they do. And the problem I run into is there's skills and perks I've never used. So I couldn't even explain what they all do. They do have their own little descriptions, of course, but I don't know, sometimes they're not the clearest. I thought I saw one other track that we hadn't clicked yet. This one we had. That's very old. This was fresh. Oh, I didn't see that Sir Veg before. That might be a little something. Fresh, dark brown. Okay, I think we're on to it here. Can you do another beginner guide? Because your last one was on the old system. Um, I did a more recent beginner series on the new system as well. But, oh, hello. It, uh, it probably could use some updating. You little bugger. Oh, that was so close. Well... Guess we're not going to know what level it is just yet. I can't believe it's just sitting right there. The, the tracks weren't even just now. I think the great one is the Merriam Turkey. That would be some. The thickest beard you've ever seen. Do I go with the binoculars to be ready to spot it? Do I go with the shotgun in case it is 12 inches in front of us again? I don't know. You think we'll get hints with the great one? I think it depends how long it takes the community to find it. I think if it's a quick process, no hints. If we're weeks in, we might see hints. It is a two. Bit of a bummer. 5.3, not quite that close. 5.6 is diamond. Or the though for the respawns, I guess. Oh, okay, didn't mean to do that. I think that's an outpost. So we'll stop there before we get to the lookout. I uh, shot a moose and it ran across the lake. Like, across the water? Can you give to memberships on YouTube? I think they were working towards making that a thing, but right now it's not. If I'm right. I can see if I can make something like that happen, Nico. Just spotted a mythical brown bear. Nice. They need to add a bolt action 7 mil. Honestly, I agree. That could be a pretty, um... Pretty neat little addition to the game. The 7 mil is a great caliber, but we just have the single shots. Uh, Brayden, thank you for the super chat. Like the stir veg rubs, but you see how big the deer is? I kind of... I, I see where you're going with that. On one hand, I want to say... You know, rubs don't aren't always the best indication of how big the deer is. On the other hand, it's a game, so we should probably or we could probably have something like that. I like it. I don't like that it didn't immediately die. Uh, CK Gaming, thanks for the super chat as well. What shotgun did you kill the rabbit with? The 16 gauge from Rancho. 
There's black girls down there. A whole bunch of females. Oh, well, they can just do their thing then. How many total diamond harvest do you have? Um, let's see. The number is going to be incorrect. 905. So, the actual number is 905. The 1205 is when Bloodhounds came out. There was a bug that had gold counting as diamonds and diamonds being counted as great ones. So the counters are all wrong, but fortunately, I know the exact number, which is 300 below what it says. Female strugs. Not a male in sight. I've been subscribed for one and a half years and I've loved to see you grow into a wholesome streamer. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Dark brown again, by the way. So that was a rock ptarmigan. Wherever it just called from. Do you know why the geese won't come down to decoys? Oh, are you having that as well? Are you using the collar? I, I need to experiment with that because I had no issues in early access. I had them coming down every time as expected. Uh, the ones that we were just hunting a little while ago were just forever circling. It's a little bit odd. I don't know what that was, but it seemed like it was flying our way. Maybe not. Can't wait for the thousandth diamond video? That's going to have to be something special. I have to think about that. Do you want these three kittens I got? Man, I can't, I can't keep up with a puppy. Canada geese don't make any sounds? Huh, I never did try to hunt them, so that's one thing I didn't experience. Update just finished? Nice. Why is your voice so calming? I don't know, it's always funny, like, you know, that's a uh, thing we'll hear in the streams fairly consistently. I never had any indication that my voice was anything calming or anything like that. Like, nobody ever said anything until I started doing YouTube, so go figure. All the geese colors sound the same? Yeah, that was one thing that we talked about in Early Access. I don't like that at all. Um, I would like to think that maybe that'll be changed down the road, because the geese themselves sound different, but then the colors are all the same. Like, I don't even know why bother. You know what I mean? Like, why make three colors? So... Hopefully we get new sounds for them eventually. When did you update your game? Honestly, when I woke up, it was already updated, so I don't know. Are you interested in the angler? Very much so. What breed is your dog? She is a blue healer mix, according to the paperwork. Kyla thinks she's a blue healer border collie mix, which, given her energy and love of jumping and general appearance I think is correct is this game ever going to be crossplay honestly the fact that the angler is going to have crossplay is probably the biggest hope you might say towards call of the wild or the hunter call of the wild getting crossplay hard to say really but you know hopefully uh, is this the new DLC map? It is, and I should also say, it is out on all platforms right now. Do you like to play with your dog? Yeah, um, before the stream, I was running around, just getting her to chase me. She, uh, <laughs> I don't know, she, every now and then she'll let me chase her, but normally she likes to be the one chasing and jumping at me. So earlier, like before the stream, I got her to run down the stairs and then sort of pretended like I was going back up the stairs. She went up the stairs and she hates when I get on one side of the coffee table and she's on the other because I'll sort of fake going to both sides and she just barks real loud, just does not like that she can't get to me. So I went to go and do that, but she was not having it. She, she just full attack mode, yeeted down the stairs and <laughs> jumped onto the coffee table and like slid on Kyla had like a resistance band on the on the coffee table so she like slid on that and I caught her as she was falling back off the other side it was pretty I wish it was on video it was quite the athletic maneuver by her uh what's max weight for rock tarpigan I don't know point is it 0.72 probably is she fun to play with oh yeah 
She's a little, um, maybe it's because she's young. I think she struggles with understanding how rough she is, like, with her, you know, not bites, but, like, playful. There's a difference between biting and playful biting, but her playful bites can be a little too much force still. But then, like, when Psycho was here uh, working on Kyla's PC, he had his kid here, and I think he's five or six, and she was super gentle with him. So, like, she, she has a good idea of that stuff. She's just a little bit goofy. Is she being calm now? She is with Kyla, so I don't know. Kyla's downstairs. My update was 70 gigs. That is a thick update. Alright. Why don't we... Instead of going this way, go from here over, just to kind of see what we encounter going a different way. Uh, Stefan, thank you for the super chat and super sticker. I appreciate it. Still updating as we speak? Yeah, I know some of those update sizes were just absurd. I get that. I wish I could make all the wild visits, but my computer can't run anything. Yeah, I get that too. Uh... I managed, I guess, with my laptop back in the day. Not even my laptop, the family laptop, when I was making classic videos, but that doesn't really fly with Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild needs a pretty, pretty beefy PC. Are you on PC, Sully? PC's update looked like it was closer to 30 gigs. Uh, console was like 60. And by the way, EW doesn't set the uh, update sizes. That's like Sony and Microsoft, so don't... Uh, I don't know. It seemed like they, EW as a company was a little flustered by their huge updates and it, I guess it wasn't even their fault. Do you know what is the new great one? I do not. I don't know what my geese are, geese, geese are doing. They're spottable flying over but don't seem to come into it just a call unless I'm not near enough. Do you know if they land on water? They do. Um, I had really good success getting gray lags to land on water on the early access. I hope they're not broken in the full release. It's got to be almost the same version. Or maybe the exact same version. I think it is. Well, probably not, because I guess if it was the exact same version, early access would have counted. Because, of course, we had to start over here. But I thought they gave us effectively the, the same version. I don't know. We'll mess with the geese a little bit and see what's going on. Uh, Stefan, thank you for the super chat again, by the way. How many gigs is Xbox? Like, close to 70? I've not tried with decoys and a color. Okay. Maybe that's the secret recipe. Ratatouille Coast, indeed. Banana Bender, 12 out of 12 name. Thank you for becoming a channel member. That kind of rhymed. Uh, if you're not in the Discord already, be sure to join that. Kyla has a link in chat. Link up your YouTube, get the member roll, get all that good stuff. And enjoy the green name and emojis here in chat as well. Ethan coming in with the super chat. Have you had any issues after this update with GPU use usage pegging to 100%? Also, any tips to fix this? Honestly, I haven't looked at it much. You know, I will say. Here, let's let's see. Not not shift tab. Oh god, control shift escape. Eventually, I'll get it to work. Now we want more details. Uh, GPU is, I mean, it's showing about 99%, but that's generally what Call of the Wild just kind of seems to do to GPUs. For fixing it, I mean, I guess, lower graphic settings, I'm not sure. Kind of a decent hazel grouse. Probably not going to hit it, but I'm going to try and keep trying until I'm out of ammo, probably. Or till it disappears bummer. I still strongly believe the Great One will be a bear. Might just be. Does Rancho reset as well? Yes. 12 out of 12 name can confirm. How do I become a member? I think it's like it's in the super jab button. It's kind of weird they have it set up. Uh, advantage of the 16 gauge versus the 12 gauge? It's just the open sights for me. It's it's a personal preference kind of thing. Uh, I like the 16 gauges. I don't know. Something about the target acquisition for me. I just have an easier time getting on target with the 16 gauge versus the 12. 
Is it true that fishing is coming to Call of the Wild? Uh, Expansive World's making a fishing game. Fishing is not going to be in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, Call of the Wild the Angler, the name of their fishing game, uh, obviously will have fishing as it is a fishing game. Uh, Eddie, thank you for the super chat as well. Any new guns with this update? There are not. The amount of new equipment with this update though, all the new uh, waterfowl decoys, the goose decoys, the new collars, and of course the water layout blind kind of took the place of a new weapon in this loadout, or in this map, and I, I think it's fine. I wouldn't be shocked in the slightest if we see a shotgun weapon pack later this year. If only you were as good as me, you would have hit that hazel grouse. I'm not as good as me to hit that hazel grouse. Uh, Stefan, thanks for becoming a channel member as well. I certainly appreciate the support, man. If you're not in the Discord, be sure to join that. Link up your YouTube, get the member roll. Get all that good stuff, enjoy that, and enjoy the green name and emojis in chat as well. How long does the stream end? About 40 minutes. So every new map has a diamond on it, so it resets to that point. In theory, every new map probably has multiple diamonds on it, but also in theory, it's probably possible for a new map to not have any diamonds. Poor Kyla. Time's not passing fast enough. Time to go back to bed. Let the chat run its course. Wait, Whitetail drinks 6 to 12 on Layton? Did they change it again? That'd be odd. You make hunting new maps look too easy? It definitely helps to get early access and, and get to spend time running around and kind of get to understand the map a bit more. I'd say that's a, that's a pretty big factor. No, I think you're doing it right, Sully. I think uh, <laughs> the more hours, the better. How long has the stream been going? An hour and 23 minutes. I heard Leighton got another full rework. That is weird. 6 to 12, though, kind of maybe balances a great one grinding out. If you've got an hour and a half real time to hit all your zones, I mean, you quite literally could get... Probably every single drink so. My brother's watching such a cringe video. Is it mine? My videos, my old videos are the cringiest of cringe. I hope I have an initial spawn diamond grizzly or raccoon dog. Diamond brown bear? Or you, do you actually mean like grizzly over on Yukon? Either way, uh, raccoon dog seems to be tough. Shot a bunch of them in the early access. I was telling everybody, I don't know if you were in here earlier, I did actually kill level 9 last night, uh, but it trolled me. And probably that's for the best because said level 9 wouldn't have counted since that was on early access, like everything was wiped. So I would have been pretty sad because I thought things were going to transfer over. I started up Revan Tui, my first kill was a Black Grouse four points away from Diamond. Not too bad. I don't think they're cringy, you just sounded louder. I guess what's cringy to me, maybe a side of it is like understanding the mindset. Because it's hard to describe, but it was like this feigned enthusiasm that didn't need to be there. Because, you know, you see the certain gaming YouTube channels, and I'm not trying to speak negatively, but, you know, they kind of do the whole super enthusiastic, loud, long intro. I was not trying to do that, but I was trying to get, like, a level of that, and I guess it just bugs me because that's not me. Maybe that's more why I find it cringy. Raccoon dogs go up to level 9, indeed. All trophies got wiped? No, uh, only, like, the content creators that had early access. Those trophies got wiped. Uh, old stuff that you've got will still be there. Yeah, mine was corrupted as well, Scarecrow. Not only was mine corrupted, the backup I made right before the early access corrupted. Fortunately, I had another backup that I made the day that I shot max weight uh, Diamond Rodier. That one worked. So the only trophy in air quotes that I'm missing is like a leucistic female chamois that I don't mind missing. 
Uh, what do you prefer out of Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper? Mountain Dew for sure. It's a weird thing. I used to... That's a good buck. Solid double two. Anyway, I used to... Um, maybe even prefer Dr. Pepper. It's legitimately like a streaming and YouTube video thing. Mountain Dew for me is just like the perfect beverage that is... This sounds weird maybe. But, you know, talking for two hours straight can be a bit of a strain on the voice. So having, like, a more, you know, ice thick beverage, uh, you know, thicker than water, more viscous, I don't know what I'm saying, uh, that can kind of help. And it also isn't, like, coffee uh, that would be, in the wise words of Bottom Boy, phlegmy and make you kind of, like, clear your throat over and over, because that's not good for streaming either. Hope you enjoyed unnecessary information about streaming with Nitro. Last shot was a little off, huh? So was that one. There we go, he just had to give him a free shot. I did not hear thick. What did you hear? Just got done installing, nice. Oh, very nice, got a 27 scoring with Cystic Pheasant and Classic. That's a dream for me. Doesn't have to be. Oh my god. Hello. Albino dough? Why not? Wait. Can you, like, not walk behind the trees, please? Neat. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah. Uh, a rare rooster pheasant of any kind of classic is a, a dream for me. What's the best skill point setup? Uh. It kind of depends on how you play. If you want to see mine real quick, I have that in Stalker. Feel free to screenshot whatever you got to do. Uh, and that's in Ambusher. Kind of too many to go over individuals, I would say. Little albino doe. Pretty cool. Probably just deleted my zone by shooting that. That eh, might be fine. Albino smoked. Holy. Seems like the ammo moves a lot slower. Definitely the birdshot was slowed down. I'm unsure about, um, you know, rifle ammo and stuff. Oh, I turned off my screenshot sound. I promise I'm taking screenshots. You know, that's a nice, uh, nice little bonus now for rare female animals. The harvest screen was always so lackluster that taking a screenshot on the harvest screen really wasn't that good, but now it kind of seems worthwhile. Did your links get deleted? It did. Uh, you know, kind of unfortunate, but at the same time, could have been a lot worse. At least it was like an old species that's been in the game for a while. If it was a new species, you know, neat rare, I'd, I'd be a lot more bummed out. Looks good in the harvest screen? It does. The harvest screen update, I really think it's one of the biggest uh, changes in this update, one of the most important ones. I mean, Whitetail just looked stunning in here, they really do. You can appreciate the Whitetail model so much more. Yeah, the shot would have been on had he not ducked, I guess. Too many animals there? Uh, you know, Call of the Wild does have that issue. You'll often get places on a lot of maps with too many animals in one spot, but I guess between having too many and too few, too many is probably a better problem. Poor Scarecrow lost at Albino Lynx. Twinning even in our losing of trophies, I guess. What species are on the new map? There are 19 species, so it's a, a bit much to list. Uh, but a whole bunch of new waterfowl, uh, two new species of geese, mountain hares, you see we're tracking, raccoon dogs, whitetail moose, lynx, brown bear, some old species. Um, is there any major ones that I'm missing? Oh, ptarmigan grouse. There's two species of ptarmigan, I think. I think two species of grouse. Capercaleys. All kinds of new stuff. More sad about the leucistic teal? Yeah, I don't blame you. No, I know. I, and I, I'm not sure, Mel, but I don't think they knew from the impression that I got. Like, I don't think it was expected that that was going to happen. Oh, nice, Graham. 
Dude, I bet I bet you're just chomping the bit to to go and, and shoot some waterfowl. Updates taking 90 minutes to download. That's definitely not nearly as bad as some. I don't know what that kind of white-ish bird back here was. I'd, it looked like a female capercaillie. And now I don't know where it was. Male's a small guy. And we'll just click tracks and see. Anybody else stuck in the mission follow the blue path? I haven't messed with missions yet. That does often happen. Unfortunately, with uh, with new maps, the missions can be a bit buggy, so hopefully it's not too bad if that's what's going on. Could have been this rock tarmac in here. Molting would be a bit white. What shotgun scope do you use? I'm not running with a shotgun scope, but if I do use one, it would be the Red Raptor Reflex. What's your FOV? Uh, I have it set at the default, 60. Um, I know some people play with like a higher FOV. It just gives me a headache, weirdly. So I just go with the normal. Five hour update, goodness. I feel that though, back when I uh, lived at my parents. That was the updates. When a new map or whatever came out in the games, it was all, cause like, you know, I'd have to go to school or work. It was always like a, 50-50 shot. Upload would work properly, or update would work properly and be ready when I got home, or it would pause at like 1%. I wouldn't even get to play that night. I feel you guys. Max weight for Hazel Grouse Tegan is 0.45 kg. Mine says it's going to take 38 hours. Goodness gracious. Which shotgun are we using? The 16 gauge. I accidentally deleted my albino links from my trophy manager. That is huge sad. I wish they had an undo button. That'd be kind of nice. Mine updated overnight? Yeah, that's kind of how mine was. I got up at, uh... Well, I guess it was 6.30 or 6.40. I got up, checked to see if the release had happened. It looked like, according to what I saw, that it didn't. And then I saw Kyla was trying to get her update to work. So I got up to do that and looked at my PC and it was already updated. That's a good one. Or was that a willow? Who are you? Dang. Not bad. I think that's the biggest rock charm we can have shot. So maybe males for them will be diamond. Bicolors are just, just stunning for these guys. Interesting. 678. Pretty good size. Big male. Came out at 547 for you. Nice. I, I always, uh, you know, I try to get up early to get, because I always have some kind of guide ready to go when a new map drops, but um, I never know, like, how early I should get up. And then I don't know what to look for either. Like, I go on their socials, and if they haven't posted it yet, I kind of assume it's not out. But that was the case today. It actually was out. They didn't post some of their stuff till later, but they, they might have to wait for, you know, everything to be released on console or you know, who knows what all they got going on. Are bicolor or white ptarmigans rare? They seem to be uncommon. Some parts of the map look like Leighton, so much so that a couple of times when I've been sitting in the menu, I think I'm on Leighton and then I have to switch maps, but I'm actually already on Reventuli. More hype for the angler? Oh, really? I don't blame you, though. That's pretty hype as well. Did your trophies transfer to this version? Anything that we shot in early access did not trophies, so... Did not trophy. Did not transfer. So, our melanistic lynx, diamond brown bear, a couple diamond whitetail, uh, diamond teal, all that stuff got wiped, but it's no big deal. Hello, Shadow. Nice of you to visit. Just set up for a great one grind on Quattro. Hopefully that'll treat you kindly. I feel like we're getting somewhere in terms of getting some lodges uh, unlocked here. No worries, Kyla. She's chilling. She went back to her peanut butter. Will EW do a stream today? I think they're doing one in just under an hour. All right. I guess we'll go to this lookout since we're all the way here. 
I'm hyped for the angler because I haven't fished in a good pond in years. There you go. Were all the maps updated visually? I don't... Well, there was changes to, like, reflections and stuff, so I guess in that aspect, yes. But I don't think the maps themselves got updates as much as, like, there were updates to graphics that would apply to all maps. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense, but it's a weird yes and no answer. I love the new outpost. Yeah, I do too. I really like what they're going for. How did you find the great one duck yet? I did not pixel. I know you got the inside information. What is it? Tell us. Great one teal. Great one mallard. Great one cinnamon teal. Nobody would expect that. What are all the animals on the map? Uh, there's too many for me to name. There's 19 species on this map. Uh, there are capercaillie, as you see the track there. Mountain hare, two species of ptarmigan, two species of grouse, two species of geese, a whole bunch of duck species, and then moose, brown bear, lynx, whitetail, uh, and raccoon dog, and I think I got them all. That would quack me up. Uh, you're gonna make me duck and hide, dude. This is terrible. What time is it? Why are my tracks looking all invisible and weird? It's 11 o'clock. I thought it was like 1700 again. Uh, KC was talking about how you used to be able to see the fur type on the map after spotting one. Now it's a part of the disturbed veg. Yet, um, and then for a while there, any track that you clicked on, whether you spotted the animal or not, like see where it says unknown here? If you clicked on the track, even without seeing deserved veg or anything, it would tell you the fur type. It was a little bit odd. You always forgot the hair? That's the first thing I said. Or second thing. Maybe I did miss it. I said Caper Kaylee and I was playing on saying mountain hair. Maybe I didn't say it. Why the flock not? Oh <laughs> uh, no. What is the best time to hunt ducks? I don't think it really matters. Um, it seems like if you set up your decoys, you're gonna have ducks coming in so consistently, you'll forget what time it is. I'm gonna time you out. Did you make Pixel Mod, actually? Easier to see them. The problem is, I can't do it right now because Stream Elements logs me out, so if I can remember afterwards. Do we have a what's the new great one counter? Yeah, it's 12,212 so far. I don't think that's math. It's definitely not math, but pretend that it is. Were Canada geese reworked on Hirschfelden? As far as I'm aware, they should have been. I've not messed with Hirschfelden at all yet to confirm that, but I believe so. You said mountain hair? I think I said mountain hair the first time. What's going on, All-Star? How's things going? Oh, hazel grouse somewhere. I think it's coming this way too. Yeah, kind of flying sideways somewhere in here. It's a, you know what I find funny? When I'm not recording or streaming, every bird flies like right to me, and I have no problem killing them. But then when it's on stream or on a video, they do this stuff where I can't get them. It's like they know. Uh, anything yet? We killed an albino white-tailed doe a couple minutes ago. Speaking of albinos, I did see early this morning somebody got an albino raccoon dog. Probably the coolest thing I've seen posted so far. Great one musk deer is a musk ox, imagine. Does anyone know if they fixed the backpack slash inventory glitch? I don't even know what the backpack or inventory glitch was, actually. Oh, was that you that got the raccoon dog? Level 5, I think? That's pretty cool. Jealous of that, I was wondering if I could encounter such neat things on all the ones I was shooting on early access. No such luck. Do you still need the original duck DLC to hunt mallards on the new map? I don't know. Um, I hope not. I would like to think that because mallards come with the new map that you would get that equipment, but there's a chance that, that it doesn't. I... I haven't seen that confirmed anywhere yet to know how it works. They did not fix the backpack glitch. Interesting. What's your favorite animal you've killed? Ever? I mean, you know, the thing is, there's 
so many. I, I really like the Piebald Diamond Gray Fox. I thought that was neat. Um, Albino Diamond Moose was very special. Our first Thousand Diamond, the Coyote, because that was a group effort, that one's always got like a cool memory attached to it, but I don't know. If I had to pick one just based off the animal itself, the Albino Diamond Moose would have looked amazing in the lodge. Uh, I shot that at a time that uh, there were no trophy lodges, so I never got to see it, but I wish I could have. I guess I'll leave it at that. Uh, would you mind explaining the different noises the Bloodhound makes, like the whimpering and such? Yeah, I think there's only really a couple. Like, there's a... The whimpering sound you'll hear means you're alerting an animal, like a, an animal is about to spook. So generally, that's a good indication that you should crouch, uh, or maybe even go prone. The barking, I'm sure you probably figured out, generally means it found the animal that you sent at the track. And if you get just like a singular bark, like a loud singular bark, a lot of times that means... It's on a track, but it's too far away from where you are to continue tracking. Like, you have to be a certain distance from it. So it's essentially waiting for you to, to go and uh, get caught up. Do you know why all my need zones are gone on Hirschfeld? It could be due to the um, the update, but usually pop resets done by EW don't uh, reset hunting pressure or zones. Best place to upgrade shotgun free to play? Uh, let me think. So you start with buckshot. Mm, assuming you only have Leighton and Hirsch to work with, probably like Road Deer on Hirschfelden. If you're playing some multiplayer, you could do like Road Deer on Quattro and just shoot everything you can with buckshot. Unlock Birdshot. Maybe start chasing rabbits. You could get those on Teowaro Multiplayer or Hirschfelden as well. Uh, the European rabbits that burrow could be good. That is the exact quote of the dog, actually, Bottom Boy. You got it. Look at this cool place. I like it. I heard leaderboards are fixed. Uh, finally, is that true? Um, they do seem to work, actually. Yeah. I'll show you here. Now, not everything is there. So you go to Codex, Hunter, Leaderboards, Animals, and we'll just pick one. Uh, it's only for the species on the map you're on. Making sure it's something I've killed. Let's let's do Whitetail, I guess. So this is, I assume, a Scarecrow Great One. And then there's some diamonds here. I don't know why mine's 261, because I've killed some 270 diamonds. But again, not all of the... Uh, like not everything you've ever shot ends up getting counted in there but they work so I guess that's good I guess technically my 633 great one should be on there if everything counted huh just some geese flying by uh, what is max weight for raccoon dog 8 to 10 kg is the max are you having the problem where animals are drinking standing deep in the water I have seen a couple do that it's a little, a little annoying, but, you know, I guess there's worse issues. Neat little area down there we'll go and check out. Oh, all right. Once in my life, I'm too tall. Anyone find the great one yet? I have not seen it. You say there's a level five in that group. I didn't see a five. There may have been. I don't know. That'd be funny if there was and I didn't see it. It was a Canada goose though, so I'm not worried. Uh, how's the Hershkeys? I have not checked on them since the update. Dear, oh, oh, oh. Your Asian tail again. It'd be funny if there's another three. 354 or something is diamond, so that's something to look for on the estimates. Maybe we can make a teal set up down here. Is this where one of the... Oh, you know what? We had a teal set up exactly here, if I'm not mistaken. You can open car doors at the starter lodge. Interesting you can do that, but... Uh, somebody had posted in the Discord. One of the starting lodge doors like is kind of broken. But then the car doors work, apparently. Funny how that works. Yeah, Kyla pointed that out. She was watching... 
I forget if it was a stream or a video that was telling me about the trail cameras on the thing. They're the exact same model that they used on Silver Ridge Peaks for the mission, so I don't know if it's just simply that or if it is a hint, but could be massive. How do you get the duck decoys? You just purchase them in the store under lures. Why can you open car doors? That is a great question. I don't know. Do you need the duck DLC to get the new decoys? I believe the new decoys come with the Teoro, or yeah, Teoro, oh goodness gracious, the Reventuli Coast DLC, but I don't know about Mallards. I'm not sure how that works. This is... Wait, this chili is better the next day? I thought you said this is chili first. Ooh, chili. I know what I'm having for lunch. Uh, so now where are the duck spots? Basically every lake uh, you can have success. What I do is I go around and like when I see something like this, like teal and mallard, probably I could set up a, a teal and mallard spot at this lake. I don't know that I'm going to set up duck areas right now. I'm probably just going to keep scooting along, but I'm sure we'll have a bunch of duck setups by the time we go out again. Be nice if you could hunt on a boat. Well, they have the the water layout blinds. They're kind of like hunting on a boat. It's a cool place. Did I miss anything important? We did kill an albino white-tailed doe. That was about it. Can I use keyboard and mouse on Xbox for this game? As far as I'm aware, it's still not supported, which is kind of annoying. I wish they would let it be a thing. Chili's always better the next day? Is that actually like a thing? I didn't know that. Okay. Got about 12 minutes, give or take. Should be able to run down uh, to this next lookout, and probably whatever we get along the way will wrap us up. A gray female black bear? Nice. Wait, gray female black bear? Or a brown bear? Suddenly I'm intrigued. Do you know how to dismantle a floating layout blind on PS4? Uh, walk up to it and there should be a button on like the right side. Like it should tell you on the right side of the screen what you gotta do. First raccoon dog is a small? Maybe so, Billy. Uh, does the new map come out today for console? It is already out on console, yes. Willow Tarm. I don't know if we shot any of those yet today. There's a raccoon dog out there. Feeding? When do they feed? I don't even know if I know this. 10 to 1300. Interesting. I thought they were, like, fully night active. How did I never notice this before? Odd. How much does the new map cost? $7.99 US, or your equivalent of that in your currency. Level 3, tough to duck, holy... Oh, that's way over there. Kind of decent size. Do raccoon dogs require a vital hit? They do. That is a important uh, bit of information. All small guys. Looking that way. I mean, we'll see if they'll flush and come our way. We'll try to get them. How do we know it has antlers? Also a relevant point. Alright, you guys can flush whenever. There you go. Did you know you're supposed to hit the birds when you shoot at them? I didn't know that. On um, Pinterest it says the great one is a moose? Is there a picture that goes with it? Isn't that the whole point of Pinterest? Schmoll and schmoll. Uh, why haven't you noticed me? I know I'm Bigfoot, but I have emotions too. I promise I try to catch everybody. I just can only read so many chats in a two hour period. Looking for, I think up to about 0.8 kg on the willows. I really, I'm going to keep harping on this. I really hope they eventually update the track info box. So instead of saying like 0 kg, it actually tells us you know, the 0.66 to 0.72, like the map does, but, you know, I don't want to have to open the map literally every time, because, A, that's annoying to watch on stream, but B, 
as you discover more and more zones, it causes the map to lag. Anyone know how to fix failed to synchronize error? I don't know that there is any fixing it. Um, I know it's a multiplayer issue. Best I can figure, you just kind of have to try to reconnect and, and hope that it works. I honestly, I don't know what causes it, but it's been a pretty major thing since Mississippi. It's kind of a, an almost a more annoying fix to an extremely annoying problem that used to happen. When you used to fail to synchronize, you would end up staying in the game and what would happen would be that there'd be no animals on the map anywhere except for whatever animals were rendered at the time that you failed to synchronize. So you could run around for like 30 minutes and then realize that there's actually no animals you can even find. That was always annoying. Best chili I've made yet. You honestly killed it. And just so you know, you're the, the chili boss now. I will assist, but whatever you did that time, it was quite good. It was a good good day for it. It got, got down to 40 something last night. It was like super chilly. No pun intended. Uh, it was good. What still happens to you? Oh, the it does still happen to me as well, like on occasion, but generally it's better. Upgrade my status and tap. The gray brown bears look so good, they really do. We had a max weight gray on yesterday's stream and I was super excited there might be a diamond, but it was just a seven. I don't think we have had weather under 85. I could not survive. I would keel over and sweat to death. Is that a duck? I heard something. It was a duck. A speedy duck. Have you got any trophies? An albino white tailed doe has been the best we've had today. Uh, down to 40? Where are you? I'm in West Central PA. Not down 240, but like in the 40s. 47 or something. I think 47 is tonight's low, actually. I w so this is something I, I genuinely just learned like yesterday. Or two days ago, I guess. Um, apparently, maybe everybody else knows this and I'm the dumb one, but apparently when you see like the low, like say I, I go on the weather app, right? And I see the low for today, when it says the low is 47, it actually means tomorrow morning's low is 47, apparently. That's what I was told by uh, Jeff Sturgis, who's a whitetail hunting genius. Um, so I never knew that's how it worked. But apparently, yeah, I, I guess tomorrow morning should be 47. Any trophies that you get from now you can keep forever? Yes. Any add-on you recommend getting as far as DLCs? Um, I mean, the thing about maps, so I'll address that first, is that you can play any map that you don't own in multiplayer. So I would just go into multiplayer and try them out, see as ones you like. As for weapon packs, I would probably recommend getting the AR pack. That one's pretty good. Uh, modern, modern rifle pack, I think it's called. The odds that that's a lung shot are probably not good. I didn't consider that we'd have to shoot raccoon dogs with a 22H at some point today. Uh, Alpine Aviation? Alpine Aviation? I'm not sure if I'm... I don't know which one it should have been. But thank you for the super chat. Just join. I'm going to get the map later today. Love the content. Well, thank you, man. And enjoy the map later. I think you'll have a lot of fun. I do see a fair bit of blood there. Maybe his intestines? There's Ptarmigan. Great lags. Whole bunch of them. Those are Canada's. Okay, lots of geese. We'll, we'll call it that. Raccoon dog died. Just gotta find it. And as long as he doesn't go too far this way, he shouldn't knock us off course for where we're trying to go. The 220 or the 22H great for them? Yeah, I probably should have let it a little bit more, but I haven't. I've just been using the 243. It's 
It do, it almost doesn't matter. You can shoot him in the high den and it, it gets liver. Sounds like ducks again. Nice level seven black white. Would have been a gold if we didn't shoot it in the stomach. Oh, it's so close to getting a lung. Find the new great one so I can find it approximately 12 hours later. I already told you, it's a great one must deer. It looks like Sid the Sloth from uh, Ice Age with the sticks in his mouth. Long stream again. We're just going for a couple more minutes. Let me go get this look out and that'll probably be it. No worries, Billy. Never thought I'd say this, but I'm enjoying hunting the birds. It's fun, isn't it? Like, I really, I really do enjoy it. I can't wait uh, to go and explore, like, the upland region up here again. Probably going to do that, you know, later this evening. Are these the ones that we saw? There's a six. Well, I'm not going back there, so next time. Is a gold brown bear rare? Uh, that got asked earlier. I don't know. Are you excited for the angler? Yes. I think that's going to be fun. Lucas, thank you for the super chat. Oh my goodness, hello. Uh, did you get to keep your kills from early access? Unfortunately, no. So rip to the uh, the melanistic links and stuff that we got. Um, I will say the one weird like saving grace for me with that was that I shot a level 9 raccoon dog last night. Uh, on early access, of course. And it trolled me so in a weird way had it made diamond i would have been a lot more sad about losing stuff but because it trolled me i was just kind of like eh get the start over great one mountain hair confirmed holy uh max weight for mountain hair 6kg what gun should we be using I've been going 16 gauge, 308, 243, and 22 and having good luck. Snipe that ptarmigan. I was really struggling, and, and I'm sure you guys saw it in like my first couple streams and, and videos shooting the the ptarmigan, but I feel like as I've kind of gotten up to speed with the ironically changing speed to the bird shot, I've kind of you know, gotten better at shooting some of that stuff. That is a tiny willow, goodness. Do we have any clue on the Great One? I think Jack's Beard did confirm in the Fabled One chat that it's on multiple maps, so that leaves out things like Pronghorn, Rocky Mountain Elk, Ma uh, Mountain Goat. Um, I guess technically that leaves out basically everything on Revan Tuli other than Mallard's Brown Bear, Lynx, Moose, and Whitetail, and of course Whitetail already have a Great One. I can't hit the ducks with life of me. You will get better. Uh, genuinely, I I struggled so much as well at the beginning. Like, I'd kill one duck per flock. By the end, I was usually getting three or four if I could, you know, get a, a halfway decent setup for the way they were landing. That was a raccoon dog. I didn't know what that was. I thought that was my bird. There's the birds. Oh, dear. There's a few. There was a chance in there to get two in one shot. Didn't quite pull that off. Gold there. Silver there. And a nice little bicolor silver on that. Tired of people acting like they know it all. There is a lot of... Insert X species confirmed as the great one and then no confirmation posted along with it. Brown bear potentially because the guy in the mission says something about a big bear. Yeah, that's the, the closest thing to a hint we have is a, a mission. Hard to say whether or not that actually is a hint, but I guess better that than no idea at all. For the sake of respawns, that poor thing didn't deserve what it just got, but yeah, I mean, it died fast. Maybe it's fine. Being from PA, I love hunting the Roosevelt elk. Makes it feel like being in the woods here at home. I, speaking of that, I just put in for bonus points for uh, for elk here in uh, PA. Maybe one day. Not anytime soon, I'm sure. Where are you, burb? 
see you. That didn't hit. There we go. I saw a hunter man in here. I didn't get to see what you said, but at least I know you're here. 632, little bicolor female. I've killed two deer with one bull on a ratio. Unless it was buckshot, I don't think that's possible. I can't wait. I can't walk 40 yards without seeing an animal. Exactly. Any tips on the Hunter Classic? Generally, like if if you're familiar with Call of the Wild, I I recommend just kind of moving slower. Have your hunter made equipped so if an animal calls, you can identify it. And if you can, if you have the caller for that species, call them in. Otherwise, you know, kind of slowly move in the direction you get the call from and try to spot it in the distance. The new great one is a potato. Great one, Spud. All right. So, let's take a look at the map real quick. Uh, actually, unlocking the lookout will do that automatically. There we go. Yeah, we pretty much unlocked about half the map. Got the eastern side done. Not half bad. So, on that note, that is going to do it for, for this stream from our little lookout view here. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Hopefully, for those of you that have been waiting for a download... Maybe it helped some of the time to go by quickly. And uh, this is going to be the only content for the day. I think I mentioned that earlier, but I'll mention that again. Um, kind of things got shifted around due to the fact that the early access stuff was wiped. No big deal, though. Like I said, I'm excited to kind of have that fresh new map experience. But uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.